Great, thanks, Praveen. Uh, it's great to be here to give you an update on uh, Neurotech. Uh, my goal today is to make sure Praveen doesn't come up and cut me off with my presentation. Uh, so right now, we're, we are a privately owned company. We get great support from the uh, Lowy Family Group out of Sydney, Australia. All of our products are based on our encapsulated uh, cell therapy, or ECT. And right now, we're in the clinic, a phase three program, Immaculate Healing Tasia, or MACTEL. And that program has both often a fast track designation, as well as we're taking a neuroprotective treatment approach in glaucoma. And basically, we're in a phase two study. So just a quick word about uh, ECT. It is an implantable device. It does, uh, it contains a cell line that's genetically modified to release whatever the therapeutic that you're interested in to treat a disease. Uh, the approach is designed to allow for a long-term continuous release in a steady state of that, of that therapeutic. And uh, right now our initial, our lead ECT program is called Renexus. Renexus releases a neurotrophic factor called uh, CNTF. CNTF has been shown to protect against the loss of uh, photoreceptors. And uh, right now we have actually treated now roughly uh, well over 300 patients safely uh, in the clinic. So our first program in Renexus is for, is for MACTEL. MACTEL typically presents itself as a bilateral condition. It uh, typically patients will affect their ability to read light contrast sensitivity, and it does uh, lead to a, uh, a gradual uh, uh, blurring of vision. Um, and typically, the disease itself presents itself with a loss of photoreceptors in a well-defined area, and it's called a MACTEL ellipsoid zone. And there is no current treatment available for the disease. So uh, we did complete a phase two study, 67 participants, 99 eyes, and we did see a statistically significant difference between the uh, treated and control groups and the change in the MACTEL ellipsoid zone. We also saw several other secondary endpoints that were favorable, microperimetry, reading speed, uh, and uh, macular thickening, as well as uh, equally important, Renexus was very well tolerated in the study. So uh, that led us to uh, initiate a phase three program. We're currently enrolling in it. The program itself consists of 212 patient uh, studies uh, being done now in 40 odd clinical sites in five different countries, uh, US, EU, and in Australia. Uh, primary efficacy endpoint is the same that we did in phase two, and that's the, uh, the change in the ellipsoid zone break area, as well as the secondary efficacy endpoints are all similar to what we studied and had a favorable outcome in the phase two. We will be following each of the patients for the next 24 months, and we do collaborate very closely with the Lowy Medical Research Group out of uh, La Jolla, California. So the other thing we have done is we've actually followed our phase two patients over a long-term period of time. This just is the data that, that shows you the, the uh, the effect from going from 24 to 36 months, and you can see that the treatment effect actually sustains and actually widens over that period of time. So something that we was very excited to see. Uh, we'll continuously, we'll be tracking these patients uh, even further. So next steps in the program, we expect to fully enroll the study sometime in the first quarter of next year, as well as internally we're preparing all the elements to, uh, so we can file our BLA upon uh, obviously hopefully successful phase three uh, results in a timely fashion. So let me just uh, jump over in the, in the last minute I have in our glaucoma program. So it is a uh, neuroprotective approach to treat glaucoma. Right now we have, uh, we're in a 54 patient phase two study, it's been comple completely enrolled. Uh, we're working very closely with Dr. Jeff Goldberg out of Stanford, as well as uh, Dr. Jeff Liebman and his team out of Columbia in a small private practice in uh, Dallas, Texas. Study endpoints, we're looking at changes in visual fields, nerve fiber layer and ganglion cells, and we will be following those patients over 24 months. So what we did do is we did an interim look-see at the data, roughly about the 12-month time point, more or less. We did see a statistically significant change already in structure. So something very excited about, both in the nerve fiber layer and ganglion cells. 
Right now, visual field, we're still taking a look at it, still haven't seen any differences. It could be because the functional changes are taking a little longer to observe. But I will say the patients that have actually reached the one and a half and two year time point, there are some signals that we are seeing some treatment effect. And we will continue to assess this data over the next 24 month period of time. So thank you. Thanks, Rich. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, Double, hey, quick yeah, word. Hey, Rich, why don't you just stay up here because I'll, I'll ask you one quick question as I make a comment. So, you know, congratulations on, on the studies and the programs. I think this is a perfect example of kind of going after a true unmet need, right? We, we see a ton of companies that chase DME and wet AMD, but MacTel, congratulations mm -hmm. on, on, on kind of really going after something that nobody's looking at. And in the glaucoma front, you know, I think the days of drops that give you one point with a premium price point are gone. And so the new frontier really is neuroprotection. Can you tell us a little bit about how you're thinking about these two programs and kind of, you know, which one is, is more or less your favorite? It's a Sophie's choice, right? But <laughs> how are you thinking about these programs in terms of priorities for the company? Sure. Um, so good question. Obviously, you know, we've been working on this technology for a long time. The one thing we've always seen is that the technology and platform works. Now it's just getting into the disease area, which actually demonstrates that. So just to that, Mac tells the furthest along. It's really the first one we want to show and get the uh, clinical efficacy and approval for. And then glaucoma will follow quickly thereafter. So uh, that's what we'd like to do. That's great. Thank you.